let's talk about how to estimate the time since death of human remains. There are four common tips for estimating the time since death that forensic scientists use. One, discovering the artifacts around the deceased. Two, using a UV light on the bones themselves. Three, chemical analysis. And four, radioactive isotopes. Now let's check them out. One thing we have to understand is taphonomy. Taphonomy is a study of what happens to the body after death, like why it does or does not decay. Number one, artifacts. This is like the era of clothing and jewelry worn by the deceased. Some other artifacts include, say, arrowheads, musket balls, and synthetic materials like plastics. Number two, UV light. Fresh bones generally glow a pale blue under UV light. Time causes this fluorescence to fade over time from the outside in. So a bone less than 100 years old may glow in full thickness, whereas a bone that is several hundred years old might not show any fluorescence. Number three, chemical analysis. Testing for nitrogen can reveal that the bones are less than 10 years old. Because as a body deteriorates, it loses nitrogen at a certain rate, primarily based on temperature and moisture of the environment. Also, testing for specific amino acids can be helpful as they leave the bone at different rates. For example, bones hold 15, but bones that are 100 years old or more may only hold 7. 4. Radioactive isotopes. Carbon-14 dating is sometimes not very helpful to forensic teams because its findings are just too broad. But because of nuclear weapons and testing starting in the 1950s, there have been a global increase in C-14, strontium-90, cesium-137, and tritium. This would indicate the individual died after 1950. And let us know in the comments if you had to specialize in one of these tips, which one would you want to specialize in? Personally, I probably wouldn't mind digging up some artifacts and examining the bones in the burial site. And you can learn more at deathscience.org.